it's happening again another shooting fix another patch to shooting and to be honest this feels like groundhog's day bad because i, I could have sworn on saturday an update hit for shooting that actually decreased the frequency of greens then on sunday 2k pulled back on that update due to community outrage and then they actually sent out a fix that made shooting better and now here we are tuesday with news from mike wayne that another update will hit in the am tomorrow vibe city I got to holla at you because this is too much. Now, if you're unaware, the first shooting fix was to actually prep for NBA 2K18, and the result, a dramatic drop in green lights. That is, besides the corners, and of course, middies were still butter. But the main takeaway is that this is a prep for NBA 2K18. So, in my opinion, why not just leave it and force us to adapt? It's evident the majority of the 2K community hated it, and I can't front, I was not a big fan of the update myself for my sharpshooter. But again, 2K should force us to adapt. But now that I think about it, once 2K18 actually hits, if this is how shooting is gonna feel, we'll be getting hit with multiple patches week one because many will voice their opinions once again, and many will complain and complain, and it'll probably more than likely force 2K's hand. The game of basketball is evolving. People want to shoot. Sharpshooters and stretch bigs, whoever makes those archetypes, they want to pull from midcourt. They want to pull from limitless range. And they should be able to. I personally hear people say all the time that sharps should not be able to pull from that deep. But the real question I have is, where's the defense? If you're getting cuffed on like that, your defense needs to pick up. The real issue should be in relation to brick wall and how OP that badge is. And this is coming from a brother that has a big with brick wall and also I have a sharpshooter. So more than likely when I'm running with bigs, they're setting me some bomb picks. So I see how crazy it gets on court. Pick dodger is not going to save you, even if you're locked down because you're either getting slowed down or you're getting dropped to the ground. And that needs to change. I don't get why 2K just won't look at the real issues. My goodness. Oh, wait, 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 I, I got an idea, I got an idea. How about 2K fixes fouls in the park? Why don't they patch that? Make it so players actually foul out and there's a limit to how many times you can spam the square button to get those steals. How about patching the glitch for hot spots that results in ballers losing theirs because out of the blue, they'll just be gone. Or how about patching those horrible animations in the game overall that take control out of our hands? 2K, you, you really just got to get it right. I don't know what's going on right now. So much attention is on 2K17's minor issues. Nobody had an issue with shooting. Everybody was satisfied with pulling up playmakers, lockdowns, whatever. There's so many other issues in this game that your attention and resources could be focused on. Man, you know, scratch that. I'm glad I got a lot of bills to work with. Let me see what's up with my post score again. It might be that time.